what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? It's been rumored for months, now it's official. Sean Spicer has resigned as White House press secretary, telling Donald Trump that he vehemently disagreed with his appointment of New York financier Anthony Scaramucci as communications director. Trump offered Scaramucci the job today and he requested that Spicer stay on, but Spicer told Trump that he believed that the appointment was a major mistake. This according to a person with direct knowledge of the exchange. Scaramucci founded the global investment firm Skybridge Capital and is a Fox News contributor. This guy is the same guy who jumps at every chance to defend Donald Trump on air. He is a staunch Donald Trump supporter. But he also enjoys good relationships with an array of journalists and other media outlets. Many of these people who Donald Trump has labeled fake news. So that's going to be interesting. Why do I feel like this is old news? <sighs> I guess there's a limit on what anybody will do when it comes to Donald Trump. Still waiting on Melania to make her move, but I feel like this guy, Sean Spicer, had already resigned months ago because this guy has got to be the worst press secretary in the history of the United States. I wonder if he can buy a soul back. You know, he played himself. He played himself. Now, Trump supporters, they are going to try to say that, well, he's just championing a good cause and for a good person. You know, Donald Trump's gonna kick out the illegals. You know, Donald Trump's going to get rid of the Muslims. You know, Donald Trump is going to get rid of Obamacare, which ironically, Trump supporters benefit the most from. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love these people. You gotta love them. Spice's turbulent tenure has been marred by Donald Trump's incompetence and his lies, lies, lie, one lie after the other. But you got to give it to Spicer because he has a special talent of being able to repeat Donald Trump's lies with a straight face. You ever see those press conferences where the room is just so packed as it's standing room only? I mean, it has to be at least a hundred or more journalists in that room when they have these press conferences. And many of these people, they do a lot of fact checking. So it's hard to pull one on one. They're doing their research. They got notes and they got articles they can easily reference when you say one thing and then they'll come back and bam. Remember when he said that Hitler wasn't as bad as, what, was, what leader was that? Was that? the leader in North Korea. And he said that they didn't, no, that was the Syrian leader. He was saying that they didn't, Hitler didn't use uh, chemical, biochemical weapons. The dude, I mean, the dude is lost. Scaramucci is going to join a long list of incompetent people in the White House. It is a very, very long list of dummies who have no clue of what they're doing. A bunch of rich dummies. So just imagine that. Imagine running a company 
and the company is running okay, uh, but maybe it's it needs some help. But we're trying to hang on. And then you bring the boss's son in who's never been in the in the factory before. You don't know what to do. You don't know the first step to take. And he comes in and he starts bossing all of the workers around, bossing the foreman around, bossing the managers around, bossing people that's on the assembly line that's been working there for 30 years telling them what to do. And then he just all of a sudden start getting rid of them and bringing his friends in. He bring his college buddies in, <laughs> putting them in positions. They have no qualifications, just putting them in position to run the company. They're going to run the company into the ground. I would like to say that I saw this from a mile away, but it was more like 20 miles. Spicer, this dude would say anything. He would say anything to keep that job because he worked hard to get that job. I mean, he did a lot, a lot of ass kissing to get that job. He put in a lot of work. He told a bunch of lies. And he finally got his dream job. And here we are six months later, and he out of there. It's like the White House, this particular administration, they've turned the White House into McDonald's, the way they hire and fire. I mean, you got it. Boom, they just bring them in and out, in and out, in and out. These people that's in Trump's cabinet, <laughs> it's like they're trying to break records for the least tenure. You know, it's like they're really trying to get that record. Like, it's so many of them that has only worked for two months, five months, six months, one month, and they're out of there. This dude, Donald Trump, don't know what he's doing. He has no clue what he's doing. He is running America further into the ground because it's already in the ground. Some of y'all don't know that because you're stupid and you're arrogant and you don't want to face the truth. But America got a lot of work to do if she is to hold on. A lot of work to do. This guy Spicer had a very, very special talent of lying with a straight face. So now he's going to go out there and spill his guts. Well, I don't know if he can spill his guts. He don't have any guts, but spill his intestines, all right? It's the same thing, but I just don't like saying guts. You know, guts is kind of like a street thing. You got guts, guts, grit. But anyway... He's going to go tell everything he knows, I do believe. But then again, he is a, uh, a, a pathological liar, so he may not tell everything, but he's going to tell something. Because one thing about these people that's in the Trump administration, none of them have any loyalty, and that makes sense because leadership starts at the top. And however that person at the top is, usually it's going to trickle down. So many incompetent people running the so-called lead company in the world. Apparently, everybody in the Trump administration is asinine. Now, Donald Trump is going to try to take credit for creating a job now that this guy Scaramucci is uh, the commu communications director, he's going to try to say, that, okay, well, we brought in one, we got rid of one. But now they got to replace Spice. I'm sure this other guy, he'll probably promote this guy Scaramucci to press secretary because I seems like it seems like that's what Spicer was really pissed off about. It seems like he felt like he was being pushed out of the way. So he took exception. And also it's probably has something to do with some old 
feelings also. He probably had some old type of, some type of connection with this dude from the past or whatever, and he didn't like him. It's probably on some personal stuff too. Cause you know, they're really emotional over there in the White House, in that White House administration. Very, very, the Trump administration, very, very emotional type dudes, man. Just really, 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 ain't really dudes all the way. You know, they not really, can't really give them 100% rating, you know. I hope Sean Spicer writes a tell-all book. Tell them everybody. Tell them Trump. Tell them Melania. Tell them Ivanka. Tell them her husband. Tell them Baron the last two. Tell them everybody. Sean Spicer, if you ever come across this video, I got a title for your book. It's on me. You can have it. Copyright free. Sean Spicer, the line rat who knew when to leave a sinking ship. Y'all let me know what you think about that title in the comment section. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order,